Good morning, guys. Genevieve here to talk to you all about our new moon in Leo coming tomorrow morning around 9.30 or so Eastern time. Um, now, new moons, as we know, are all about like just new beginnings, change, new energy, um, putting the previous month behind us and starting fresh. And new moons, especially those in either my own sign or my opposite sign, which is Leo, um, tend to, to give me extra burst of energy and raring to go, um, get started. And that's why I am recording this at 5.30 in the morning. I've actually already been awake for about an hour. Um, I literally woke up like this, so I apologize for not zhuzhing myself up and getting pretty for you guys, but I just um, really was feeling like putting this together now. I already made my new Moon Blend Flare, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but first, of course, we want to talk about the new Moon energy and Leo energy and what to expect over the next few days. So... We know um, Leo is a fire sign. We know that Leo is the sign of the lion, which is, you know, the king of the jungle. It's kind of, you know, the courageous um, protector, um, very flamboyant, outgoing, creative, passionate, fiery, um, you know, can be combative at times, especially when protecting um, their loved ones or their pride, so to speak. Um, but... You know, whenever the moon, the new moon is in Leo, this is a, a chance for fresh beginnings with fresh creative product projects, um, fresh, you know, relationship goals, a, a clean slate as, as far as relationship goes, as well as kind of passionate, um, maybe professional endeavors. Okay. Um, now you know, we, we've always talked about kind of the, the nature of the Leo is sometimes a little bit flamboyant, right? Um, they, they're a lot of flair. Um, you definitely notice Leo when they walk into the room, whether it's the way they're dressed, their style, or it could be just the loudness and um, commanding aspect quality to their voices. Um, but they, they love center stage. They love being the center of attention. Um they, they like to be needed. They love to protect and to care for others, but they get something out of that, right? They get a sense of um, worth when they're needed by their loved ones and friends. And so a lot of things that they do are very generous, um, above board, um, but showy because they do want the accolades. They do want the um, the praise and the thanks for doing those, those things. Um, and they will not let you forget it. If you've, if they've ever done a favor for you, <laughs> I can assure you of that. Um, so this particular new moon energy, um, you know, there will be opportunities for, for, um, interactions, um, some sizzling passionate affairs with the opposite sex. There will be opportunities for creative projects, passion product projects, to get off the ground. Um, there are some negative aspects as always with any full moon. And the biggest one that we're going to feel is the square with Uranus. Now I talk about Uranus a lot. Uranus is the, um, one of the planets that rules my sign Aquarius, which is the opposite sign of Leo. And so thus the square, um, so that is going to cause, which it always does some unexpected disruptive change. Okay. Um, you don't want to force change at this time. You want to be adaptable, though. When it comes, um, there can be a positive and a negative quality to the change, depending on how you adapt to it, how you work with the energy. Um, there is a danger of some kind of controlling or anger energy around you, um, revengefulness, um, too much pride can, can bring a lot of your problems at this time. So, um, you know, don't be easily offended. Do not let yourself be drawn into conflicts of ego at this time. Um, because there will be a lot of kind of underhandedness if, if you kind of go along that route, you want to caution yourself against some sickness, uh, animal attacks, even, um, 
accidents, poison, things like that. Um, focus on the creative. Focus on um, passion projects at this time. Focus on artistic or even scientific endeavors and study and implementation. Kind of stay in your own lane at this time. Focus on you. You know, Leo is a very inward and self centric sign so rather than kind of getting involved in you know gossip and and everyone else's drama because leo does like to thrive on drama um keep that energy focused inward okay in your mind in your in your everyday doings over the next few days um whether it's your work whether it's again a new passion or creative project um be on the lookout um from losses due to the opposite sex, whether it's affairs that you're having, um, false friends, beware of fire. Fire, of course, Leo is the fire sign. Um, there is a danger of accident and loss through fire at this time. Um, you know, you could have back and forth fortunes. You, you're, it, it could be mixed. So you could have good fortune and then it's quickly reversed or, or taken away from you. Um Watch out for wild animals at this time, especially if you're enjoying the outdoors early in the morning, later in the evening. Um, and the same goes for your pets. Um, you know, try to walk a mile in other shoes before you judge them. Um, you know, at this time, some people, there can be an aptitude or a pervasiveness of kind of cruelty and uh, cold heartedness that you might perceive or unfortunately might feel towards yourself. Um, just try to, and again, my oil blend is going to help kind of protect you and guard you from that. But just again, do your meditation, your journaling, focus on the positive, um, realize that everything is temporary, be adaptable to change. Um, really Try to find the generous giving nature of the Leo energy towards your friends, towards your loved ones and um, forgiveness, of course, and just kind of grace is, is the energy to really try to draw to yourself and work with at this time. Okay, guys. And again, this energy is going to be most prominent over the next few days, but will last up until um, the next full moon for the next two weeks. Um, so as you feel this energy shift you know, just, just be flexible. Um, don't be too rigid or fixed in your thinking or your reactions to things. Um, try to be tolerant. There is definitely, um, a, a possibility toward, um, progressive change, good change, positive change. If you're willing to keep your mind open, um, and not so rigid and fixed. Okay. So my blend that I create for the full moon in Leo is called flare. And geez, I just wrote it down and I just created it. But let me just show you. Now, when I create a blend, unless someone is purchasing one, um, I usually create only about this much. This is enough for my diffuser downstairs, my diffuser upstairs. And my also, I have three, I don't know if you can see it, uh, three of these oil burners. There's a red one over there. There's this. Uh, ceramic one and then there's one in my office so it's usually enough for those and then also there's usually a little bit left over that I put in my necklace diffuser and um, sometimes I'll also add it to a carrier oil and actually just use it as a perfume you know body oil all over my body you can even use it in your hair if you want to you can bathe with it with it if you want to um, you know that's why oil blends are very um, adaptable to, to whatever circumstance you want. Being that it is a new moon, I will also be saging my entire home. I will be kind of, even though I charged my crystals two weeks ago under the full moon, I will just sage them quickly to just, you know, recharge them a little bit, cleanse them a little bit, because as always, they work hard for me almost every day. I carry them, most of them around with me everywhere, or not most of them, but of course, the ones I pick and choose for the purpose that I need them for at that specific time. Um, so, yeah, just enjoy the positive aspects of this Leo full moon. Oh, I still forgot to tell you the blend. Okay, Flare. It has lemongrass. It has um, grapefruit. So these are 
spiritually uplifting, energizing and um, oils scents. I have patchouli. I have um, basil, which brings good luck, financial luck, but also is very uplifting and um, spiritually kind of charges your your creative juices. Um, there is Lang Lang, again, creative, but also very sensual and, and patchouli. Um, and then there is black pepper and vanilla, which grounding, uplifting, protecting, but also give you that extra little spice, that extra little spark to get your creative juices flowing and your sensuality flowing. Okay, guys. So again, I apologize for the way I look. It's 5.30 in the morning. Just wanted to get this done so I can get it out to you guys. And uh, I hope you have a blessed weekend. Uh, enjoy the new moon energy. Find the positive. Until next time, guys. The next full moon is going to be the second one this year. Back to back in my sign of Aquarius. So I will have an extra special full moon blend that I've never created. I'll be creating a brand new one just for that energy in two weeks. So be sure to tune in for that. Um... Namaste. Blessed be. Till next time. Bye.